Have you been to the ministry lately? I have several times. But the minister keeps referring me to the permanent secretary, mm. who keeps referring me to the task force in charge of import licenses, Yo. who keeps asking me to come back every, every week. week. Yes, come in. Uh, are you Chief Ayoko of Ayoko Motors? Yes, I am. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, they told me at the ministry about you. Yes. I have an import license for 1,000 cars. 1,000 cars? <laughs> yes. And it could be yours if you can pay the right price. But don't you want to use it yourself? <laughs> hey, Nikke, I am not a car dealer. Then how did you get it and I could? <laughs> the right connection and the right party card. I have got the right connections too. <laughs> But uh, you haven't got what I have got to give. <laughs> How much do you want for your import license? 1,000 Naira for every car. That would be 1 million Naira. Maybe you can add it to the price of your car. Anyway, there is my card. Gee, now, wow. What was that I heard? You heard what you heard, my brother. Ah! Bottom power! Right from the top. Hey! The trouble is that this system of making cheap money has become a way of life for some of our government officials. Ah, Mr. Preston, you are here. What's the position? Well, a 25% mobilization fee was approved along with your contract. Thank God, at long last. Thank God for nothing. Eh? There is no money to pay you mobilization fee. Look, my friend, what's your soul? Which one you day? Eh? Why are you trying to be difficult? What do you need mobilization fee for anyway? Oh, it's to, to mobilize, to buy the bulldozers, the graveyards, and all the necessary equipment. But you are supposed to have those already. You said so in your application form. Application and what I put on were a mere formality. You know that. Eh? Why? The Germans, the Italians, the French, the British, all these people come here, you give them mobilization fee. Why don't you want to give me two? Is it because I'm in Nigeria? Look, you people expect government to finance your project for you, whereas government does not share in your profit. But government is not complaining. I am complaining. Why should you complain? Is it your money? Is it yours? Then what's your problem? <laughs> I have no problem. You are the person who wants mobilization fee. That's your problem. <laughs> so you have to find a way of solving it. <laughs> oh, I just remembered something. What? Uh, the five percent inducement fee to speed up the release of the money. Don't cheat. It's ten percent payable in foreign currency, and you know it. That's what the foreigners pay. Well, that's two hundred and fifty thousand naira. Well, you have a ten million naira contract. Take it or leave it. <laughs> All right. It's a deal. <laughs> Good. See his account. London account. <laughs> now let's get on to business. Nigeria now has a reputation in international business circles. He has a telegram for you. Obligations are not just to the immediate family, but extend to aunts, uncles, cousins, and even remote kinsmen. Ah! What is it? Auntie Tola is ill. They want me to send 350 Naira home. So? And what about your new school fees? You promised to give it to me today. This is more urgent. Your brother's school fees can wait. No, it can't wait. It's only 150 Naira. Please, let me have it. Try and be reasonable. I God said fee. no. You promised to give it to me today. And besides, the boy may lose his chance for sitting for his GCE if he doesn't pay up by tomorrow. Look, you can, know that. Look, we can talk to the principal and explain. No, today, if you know you're not going to pay, just let me know. Then I'll know your family comes first and mine is unimportant. You know that is not Already true. Already your nephew John is waiting for you in the other room. John, your uncle is home. Uh, welcome, uncle. John, what do you want here? <laughs> now, job I can't find, uncle. Papa said, make I stay with you for some time. You think it's easy to find jobs in Lagos? Papa say you go help me, care. Okay? After all, I'm a big man. You people will ride a willing horse to death. That was the landlord. He says to remind you that the house rent is overdue. 250 Naira. Ah! The obligation to help a kinsman, to take care of one's people, is a real problem for us.